<laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am almost done. Look at this thing. I'm gonna go reverse this and just kind of walk around and show you where I'm at. I'm really close to getting done, but I thought I would uh, show this off. So here we are, I have my landing. Got it all seamed up. I just gotta finish uh, adding supports to this leg, which you'll see on the other corners, like right here. So basically this stabilizes the whole thing so that it doesn't wobble. Um, here's the launch. So we step back and take a look. And so I'm not too concerned about the gap here because the idea is, is I want to be able to pull this forward and, and back uh, and just have this tabletop as my uh, safe safety zone in case I don't make the landing. Um, just a word of, of advice to anybody out there right now while uh, hospitals are being overwhelmed with this COVID thing. Um, I was going to actually have more of a gap and only have like two feet, but I decided to do a six and a half or so foot long deck um, just for safety because no one needs to go to the emergency room. So that's why I made it uh, much bigger. Um, plus, you know, it might be fun to practice manually and across it, stuff like that. So in here, this side's almost done. I just have to take the sawzaw and cut this piece off. And I have to support the other side over there, which is I'm currently working on. Um, but uh, I will be riding this very soon, if not later today, for certain tomorrow. Back up and you can see the whole thing. There it is. Somebody was telling me the landing looks a little steep and kind of hard. I might actually add a uh, little bit of a some plywood right there for a little smoother transition. I'll jump it a couple times and see how harsh that is. But this is grass, so it's not going to be too bad. Um, but yeah, this is going to be fun. So that's my update for today. It's pretty nice out here in Minnesota, uh, northern part of the United States. Um, we are, I think, around 50 degrees right now, maybe mid-50s, but I know we're going to start getting into the 60s and, and maybe even the 70s soon. So this is springtime. I'm pretty excited to have my jump almost ready because during this time of isolation I want to be able to just come out here and, and ride. Um, the plan is, is I got to use the street a little bit over there and I come down the street I have to bunny hop the curb which kind of sucks or I might put some boards there or something so I can just, just ride up and then hit the launch and make the landing. <laughs> here it is, it is complete. I'm pretty stoked about this. Uh, I got my uh, Dirt jump bike, 26 inch DJ. That's a eight and a half foot radius over there. <laughs> um, three feet high and this bike feels great on it. I haven't um, cleared it yet because I just wanted to test it and definitely test the deck. But um, it is uh, pretty sweet. Um, if you haven't seen my other video, uh, that's a Haro Steel Reserve. It's the least expensive one, the 1.1 I believe. Um, I've upgraded a bunch of parts, but I love that bike. It feels really good. And it's pretty, you know, it's it can ride skate parks and stuff like that, so it's pretty good. Um, but I'm not going to do any um, jumping videos in this one. I'll save that for later. <laughs> Once I get a little bit of practice on it and don't look like a fool. <laughs> Thanks for watching.